Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part one of the build of the Lego Scooby-Doo Haunted Lighthouse set. This is set number 75903, 437 pieces. Looks like we've got uh, four minifigures and Scooby, who's considered a minifigure. Um, so Scooby, Shaggy, Daphne, Lighthouse, Keeper, and the Swamp Creature. So I haven't really looked too much at this box. It looks like there's some play features with the lighthouse. It's like a hidden treasure and some fold away pieces. So um, yeah, interesting to find out what's in here when we build it. So there's all of the contents. Let's see, we have a rolled up sticker sheet. Stickers still look like they're attached to the sticker sheet. I did a set a few days ago where it had similar condition but the stickers were halfway peeled off so that was a disappointment. We have the two instruction books that are also rolled over so you kind of have to reverse roll them to have them lay flat. We have some elements that are not in bags. We have a big plate and then these little flex tubes that are by themselves. And we have numbered bags, one through five. So we'll start with bag number one. Okay. Have a small bag of elements. Put off to the side, and we have a, a bag that has Scooby all by himself. It's perforated, so you can grab one side and just pull it apart. And that's what makes Scooby, and he's in his sitting position. Got the kind of scared, scared mouth going on the side there. We have um, Shaggy in this bag as well. This version of him has the green shirt with the seaweed and a starfish stuck in the seaweed. He's um, water skiing. So that's what these light blue skis are for. I can't seem to pick up, so I'll just stick his legs on him. So there's that. And he's holding a hamburger. So let's go ahead and make the hamburger. So we start with this two by two round tile with the hole in the middle. We're gonna attach an assortment of different color studs that represent the ingredients on the hamburger. And then we're topping it off with this sesame seed bun printed inverted tile. And I'm gonna try to attach this to his hand. Sometimes you can put the hand inside of these Technic pinholes. And it's not wanting to go in there. If I try the other side of the hand. No. It's not going to work. I don't know how they have it in there. So the hand looks bigger than the pinhole. Oh well. Not gonna worry about it. Put that off to the side. So that's our two minifigures for this bag. So we're gonna start building the little boat. So this is a accessory to the haunted lighthouse. these Scooby-Doo sets use a lot of the different colors. So we see some lime green, some azure color, some 
oranges, and yellows, just slightly different color palette than your normal sets. Goes there. Plates with a couple studs. of the boat and now we're going to sticker it up. We'll start with sticker number five. Goes there. Sticker 13. Sticker number six. And lastly, we have sticker number 12. Move those to the side. Let's continue building onto this boat. Clear kind of reverse tiles. Turn it back around the orange slotted tile. We have our speedboat windshield. Exhaust pieces. Then we have a little uh, motor prop type thing. So that's where the uh, blade turns underwater. So we have a big engine block and our String that is going to be where the uh, the handle is for the skiing. So attach that. And you can see you can attach whoever's wearing the water skis to that. And there's your ski boat. So that finishes bag number one. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into bag number two. Let me move this off to the side. There's bag two. Just 
small bag of parts in the big bag. Alright, and we're going to use this loose plate that was in the box. So, here we go. So this blue plate represents water, and then all these bricks and elements next to it are part of the lighthouse area. Masonry profile brick. Quite a few of these tiles in the water. Maybe some sort of play feature. Creates a lot of cool rocky elements. Now we're going to start covering some of it up with some plates to kind of create the foundation for the lighthouse. We have a treasure chest, and inside of this chest is a couple gems and a silver metallic goblet. And this just sits right down there in that opening. Technic brick, sloped brick.
have this seaweed type vine element. Put it inside of this Technic pin and then that pin attaches to that Technic brick. Now we have a some sort of lamp post element. Alternate this maroon color and white color to create the striped post. Then we have a trans orange cone with a black dish on the top that attaches to that clip. Now we have two. Oh, there's this, also this printed map element that goes in there. Two brown 1x4 tiles with this wood pattern sticker. Which it always confuses me why they sticker these when they actually make a printed 1x4 brown wood pattern. This goes on those two jumpers to create what looks like a boarded up hole in the, the deck there. All right, so that completes bag number two. As you can see, we're getting started with our, our lighthouse area. So we're gonna jump into bag number three now. Small bag of parts, not, not very many small parts in this set. It's mostly a lot of plates and bricks. Alright, so we're gonna build the swamp creature minifigure. So he's got the double sided face, he's got the, the scary face, and then on the other side it's the revealed face of who the actual creature is. We'll make the scary version as the main one, and he's holding this little trident spear type thing. There's an extra one. I don't know if we'll use it in part of the build, but we'll see in a minute. So, I'll move that to the side because we have another little plate that we're going to start with, which we'll probably attach once it's done to the other structure we just built. Oops, I'm building this on the wrong plate. There's a slightly longer one that you should be using. smaller one that I started to use attaches there. Do another one of these slopes. Masonry profile brick and a sloped brick. some Technic bricks with the little pinholes in them. Two blue tiles. Some more Technic bricks.
quite an assortment of various slopes in this set. It's really great for rock work. If you want to build your own rock creations, these sloped bricks work really well. this that technic brick masonry brick technic brick and a slope there. Let's see, we'll turn it to the side and we're going to attach four friction pins in here. And we have this little ice cream cone piece with a flame that will attach to the side there. So we bring our first element over that we made and the pins should all line up, and they do. And there you go. That's the, the foundation for the lighthouse. So that's gonna complete part one. We've completed instruction book one, so um, stick around for part number two, where we finish building the lighthouse, and we'll see you next time.